Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video. Today, uh, I will be showing you all my art supplies slash coloring supplies. So these are all the things that I use to color my pictures, essentially, whether it's a coloring page or a painting or whatever. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. I hope you like the new overlay. I thought it was cute, but um, yeah. Let's get started. So, uh, first things first, I have this little caboodle um, that's broken. The thing broke here. And it literally just holds all of my paint stuff. So what I mean by this is I have a bunch of these. Um, these are supposed to be face cloths from Dollar Tree, but I actually use them as little... Um, here, where can I put this? I actually use them as little, like, paint rags almost. Um, so like, for example, this was, uh, poor Rapunzel, but <laughs> she is covered in paint because they're only $1.25 and they're Disney. So like, why not? This one I've had for a very long time. This is Minnie. <laughs> and then I have another, do I have two Rapunzel ones? I just always get Rapunzel. Um, she's covered in paint. And then there is this one, which is, uh... Is this Mulan? Yes. It's Mulan who has now... Oh, wait, no, there's her face. I thought her face faded away, but no. Uh, I've just been keeping these for a very long time, and I got them, again, from Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for a cheap, affordable way to kind of wipe off your paints after you use your paintbrush, um, definitely just get some of these. Um, and then this is just with a bunch of paintbrushes. These all kind of range from different places. Five Below, uh, Michael's, I've also gotten gifted um, like some brushes. So those are all in there. And then this is filled with little um, paint tubes. And so the, one of the brands in here is Studio Series Acrylic Paint, um, just by Peter Popper very uh, nice brand of paint that I got as a gift. And then I have Artist Loft uh, paint tubes um, that are for Michaels. And these I all, I got them all gifted. And I think those are the two, yeah, these are, those are the only two brands that I have in here, but they're just a bunch of different paints. I also have this dotting tool for when I want to do dots, but yeah, that's all my paint stuff. So the rags just go right on top uh, to kind of cover everything. And then I just close it like so. So there's that. Um, I'm now going to show you the other paint stuff. And then I'm going to go into two, like, cased things. And then I'm just going to go into my little uh, carousel thing that I have that you guys have probably seen before. So uh, first things first, these are new to me. I have not tried them yet. I got them as a gift for my sister recently. And they are these glow-in-the-dark paints. And essentially, when you open them, oops, there are, oh yeah, there was brushes in here. I should put those with my other brushes. <laughs> um, but essentially, these are just, you know, are glow-in-the-dark paints. Um, so they glow in the dark, as it says. So <laughs> they all come like this, this like little casing. And yeah, they're just um, glow-in-the-dark paints. And this is, like, what they look like. But, yeah, it comes with a lot. And um, I haven't tried them yet. Like I said, I literally just got them last night. So I have not even tried them yet. But I'm super excited to try them out, you know. So these are just going to go back. In their little case. Why does this not want to? Sometimes the packaging is just awful. But, ugh especially cardboard, because it's like a puzzle. You have to figure out how to put it back. There we go. And then the other painting thing that I like to use when it comes to painting, I literally just used this last night to work on a painting, and it's my paint puck. Um, I saw this thing literally, I think it was on an infomercial of some sort, either on TV or a live stream or something, like an advertisement for it, but I love this thing. <laughs> it cleans my brushes as I use them and it holds them to let them dry so it's a win-win situation so i definitely highly recommend getting one of these they come in a bunch of different colors again it's called the paint 
puck, like a hockey puck. So definitely look it up. It's pretty awesome. So those are like my painting stuff. And now these are my two like cased in things that I use for mainly for coloring. Um, these ones I have not used yet because I don't really know how to use them particularly. So I'm hoping I can find some tutorials or something to learn. But these are my chalk pastels and oil pastels that I got from Five Below. Again, haven't really, I think I used them once actually because I wanted to try it out. But I didn't like how I did it. So hopefully one of my coloring friends comes out with a tutorial because I would love to learn how to do this. So if any of you out there in the coloring world would like to. Um, or leave some links down below of any tutorials that you know of. Because I definitely need the help. So those are those. This is my new colored pencil case. I love it. Um, essentially, this case I got as a gift for Christmas. And it's awesome. It's the case that I wanted because I love the galaxy part of it. Um, I got a Trippy Draws backpack, which is actually behind me over there. And this is the sticker that it came with. And I thought it fit perfect on this case. I was like, yes, I need to put it here. Yeah. Um, and then this just has all of my colored pencils kind of organized by brand. So these first set of colored pencils, as you can see here, are the H&B Macaron Pastel uh, pencils that I got for Christmas. And I was inspired to get these from Colorful Dreamer 82 or Colorful Dreams here on YouTube. Um, I've already used this pencil so much and it's only January, so... These are definitely going to be another buy for me. So let's close that section so we can open up the next section to show you what other pencils I have. Um, so the second section, there's four sections, and this holds 200 pencils, which is insane, and I basically filled it. These are all, this whole side and this top part are, are, are all Artist Loft colored pencils. I love these pencils. Highly recommend them. They're a good, cheap brand to get. And then this is my small little collection of Prismacolors that I've just kind of collected over the years. So this is my small little collection. Um, and I hope to grow it more. <laughs> this is my little collection of it. Um, the next section is all of my Crayola. No, not all of them. So it goes from here all the way down this side and then up to here um, are all of my uh, Crayola colored pencils. Again, another amazing cheap brand that you can get for art supplies. This bottom part are all these pastel colored pencils that I think I got from Timu or something like that. I'm not really quite sure the brand. It, they're in triangular shape thing. Um, it says the brand is with me pastels so if that helps um but yeah they're just pastel colored pencils again they're just not ones that I tend to go to anymore which is why they're in the back and then finally we have um all of my colors of the world Crayola pencils these are amazing for skin tones so I have the full set here and then I have my Bic Evolution pencils that I was gifted a while ago um that are all here so, yeah, so I have about 200 pencils, which even my niece thinks is insane, <laughs> but I said I need all of these, so, yeah. So those are my colored pencils, and lastly, we have my little organizer thing. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to kind of go section by section. So, obviously, I need a sharpener for everything, and that just kind of sits in the middle of all this, so that's why that's just kind of there. Also, in my middle section, I have Crayola Super Tips, amazing markers. I, I use them all the time, and I constantly rebuy them. Um, I also have, in the first section here, um, and I'll kind of go, actually, I'll start at 12 and kind of go like this. So, um, in this first section at 12 o'clock, I have some pencils and mechanical pencils. And then I also have some palette knives. This is kind of like a random thing. I have some alcohol markers that are dying in this section, just so I know that they're uh, not so great. 
and then I have um, the illustration markers from Five Below in that section. And those are the pastel colors. Next, I have my paint markers. So the first ones are my acrylic paint markers that are glow in the dark from um, Five Below. <laughs> and then I was gifted for Christmas from my parents these Posca pens. So Posca paint pens are a must. So expensive though, but I'm so happy that I have a little collection of them now. I have them in pretty much every single color uh, now, so I'm so grateful that I was gifted that. Um, next, oops, sorry about that. Next section is has some gel pens in the little section, so I have some five below gel pens, and I also have these little ones that look like cats that I got when I was traveling. So yeah, those are cute. And then also in this little section are the start of my tempura paint sticks by King Art that I was gifted. They're great for backgrounds, honestly. So I use those for that. And then I have more of my gel pens in that in the next section here, along with the rest of the tempura paint sticks. And then in the next section after that, I have more pencils, but these are like either not sharpened or um, new pencils you know, and then I have my Studio Series Peter Popper journaling pens, which I was gifted. Super awesome. And then I have these Sharpie chisel tip, like jumbo markers, because I love Sharpies. They're like great. So that's in that section. Um, and then I also have in the next section, I have some Bic black pens just for writing and journaling. I also have this Papermate Wright Brothers 1.0 pen, very fancy. Um, and I also have these outline pens from um, Five Below. And then when I was in Italy, I bought some Italian uh, markers, Giotto, uh, Supermax, uh, Super Washable. They kind of remind me of a better version of Crayola, if you're wondering. And that is all that's in this little organizer. And that is all of my art supplies. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. These are all the supplies that I use for art and coloring. Obviously, besides canvases and paper and such, this is what I actually use to make color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.